Okay, guys, just wanted to let you know that this morning I did my first BCG treatment for bladder cancer. And just like I did a few years ago with my prostate uh, issues, actually, that uh, I made a video about my uh, biopsy because. Uh, when I was facing this, the first thing I did, of course, was go to YouTube to hear other people talk about what it was all about. And I didn't like what I saw because there were some silly videos, some videos that, uh, well, let's just, let's just say a lot of the guys were a little too macho and were kind of playing around with something that was a serious issue I didn't appreciate. Uh, the kind of information they were giving. So I made my own video. Well, I'm gonna do that with this now about the BCG. Part of the plane's going over. I live right under the, uh, the uh, flight path for the SeaTac airport in Seattle. Um, yeah, I had my first treatment today and boy, I tell you, leading up to it, the, the uh, week or two, before I was just uh, not a happy camper because it's just another one of those things that I was going to have to do that I didn't want to have to do and uh, I'm not the bravest person in the world. Well, I'm going to give it to you right up front before I uh, go and explain all the detail. Right up front, it was no big deal. Um, with my experiences in the last few years uh, with my prostate and in and out of the hospital, I had an e I had an emergency episode. I had to go in and various things and involved a number of uh, catheter installs and pulling out, and that was something I was frightened of too, to be honest with you, a while back. But I've had so many of them now; it's like no big deal. It's like it really isn't that big of a deal. <clears throat> well, let me just tell you that the BCG treatment is basically just like having a catheter put in. They, that's what they do, actually. They put this little catheter in. They squirt in some BCG. They pull the catheter out. You're done. Uh, you come home. You do what my doctor calls the rotisserie you for two hours you lay on your back you you move to your side you move to your stomach you move to your other side back to your back you do that for two hours 15 minutes per uh, position to get the BCGs in your bladder all around the, the whole bladder and then uh, and then you go to the bathroom and then you're done for that week, you know, and then you go back the next week, do it again. It's no big deal. And uh, the appointment, if, if I didn't have to, I, I had to wait today at the uh, doctor's office. I had to wait in the waiting room. I had to wait in the room that I was in. I guess he was busy. Uh, the whole thing took probably an hour, but half of that was waiting. So if, if I didn't have to wait, I probably would have been in and out of there in a half an hour's time. Um, laid back on the table. He, uh, I, and I was undressed from the waist down, had a little paper over me. He comes in, he talks to me for a few minutes. Um, then he uh, cleans my uh, penis and then puts in the uh, catheter and um, squirts the stuff in and he's a very gentle the way he does that he's, he's he's been the one that's always put him in he's very very careful and it's not it isn't painful it's a little uncomfortable but it's not that big of a deal um, and um, squirted the stuff in through the catheter and then pulled the catheter out and I got dressed and left. Um, just no real big deal. Now, the, of course, the big deal is I got to do this for the next six weeks, every Monday. And then um, I get three months off. And then I do it, I think, for th three Mondays, 
three weeks in a row, then I take another three months off. And in the, in, in between every three months, he's doing a cystoscopy to, to look inside and see what's happening, if we're, how, how we're doing. That's the crummy part is that it's going to go on for a couple of years. But the, uh, the procedure itself of doing the BCG treatment is not that big of a deal. And by the way, the cystoscopy is pretty much the same uh, experience as having a, a catheter put in. It's not too bad either. It really, none of this has been really all that bad. It's very scary up front. Every, every new thing I've had to do has been scary up front. And I'm just making this video so that the guys and gals watching this, maybe they won't have to you wade through so much fear without knowing what to expect. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. I watched one video on YouTube that says, oh, this part burns, you know? Well, what does that mean? Well, I know what it means now. It's, it's, I wouldn't even call it a burning. Uh, it's not that, it's not that, Burning sounds intense. This was not intense at all. It was n nothing. Uh, you know how if you've, well, I'm not going to say that because you may not know how. Just, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's just a slight sensation of a warming feeling. It's not burning. It's not, it's not like now peeing afterwards. That's, that's a burning. That's going to take a, a, usually I had, I've had this done before. With the, with the camera, with the other um, uh, catheters. And yeah, the first day or so when you go to pee, it's going to burn a bit. But that goes away pretty quick. I said within 24 hours, it was gone every time I had it. Uh, but the actual procedure, nothing in that procedure that I experienced, I would describe as burning. In fact, I wouldn't describe anything as even hurting. I would describe it as uncomfortable uncomfortable uh, but not burning not hurting uh, don't worry about it it's gonna be fine